fuck this shipping container story. 25 people were found in a fucking shipping container. But I want to know, know if they if, died. I don't know if they were dead or alive. I feel like they were alive from what I was reading, but who cares? All right, who the fuck cares? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about more important things. Okay. Um. So the other night before uh-huh. bed, yeah. I'm on mushrooms. Gross. <sighs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Whatever. Um, Go ahead. I'm trying to fall asleep. It's like the end of the night. Uh-huh. And pops into my head. Alex this- is the only person that'll say, <laughs> I'm on mushrooms trying to fall asleep. This is you like- You the- like, it's melatonin. <laughs> no, I'm like coming down. I'm trying to fall asleep. And what pops into my head is this image of like, like um, people like hanging themselves like meat, right? And it was like kind of freaky. And I'm thinking to myself- I feel like I saw this on TV when I was younger, but also I'm on mushrooms right now and I can't be sure if it's a real thing or if my mushroom mind just showed me a really unsettling image of people hanging themselves like meat. Mm -hmm. So I came into the studio a couple days later and I was like, hey guys, do people hang themselves like meat? And everybody was like, yeah. And Shannon was like, yeah, I have friends who do it. It's fucking crazy. And somebody was like, yeah, Zach Amico knows a bunch of people who hang themselves like meat. Of course he does. Have you ever heard of this? Yes. I think I saw it when I was younger, too. You saw... Is it not really... I mean, I haven't thought about it in years, but just imagine thinking about about that on mushrooms. Can you explain it to the people that don't really know exactly what you mean by hanging like meat? It's just not really a good way to even keep going for 15 plus minutes on a podcast without explaining. (laughs) I've said explaining first. 10 times already. (laughs) Okay. So what I mean by hanging yourselves like meat is like (laughs) the way I envision it is like you basically lift up the skin of like somewhere around your shoulder blades and create like a hole in your skin so that something you could like put hooks into that hole and and hang yourself on the hooks. Like me. Like (laughs) Like she fucking said. (laughs) Just like I said, it's exactly what you're probably picturing. Yeah. Um, Yeah. And then when I found out for sure that that was a real thing, Mm -hmm. I thought we should investigate into it. Like, yeah, let's see it. Who, Bobby, like, pull up meat like, human. Who decides to like hang themselves like meat? Ah! No. Yeah. Wait, hold on. It's have okay. I saw this when I was maybe ten on television. Yeah, me too. But it wasn't as disturbing. And though. it made such an impression on me that seventeen years later on a mushroom chip, <laughs> it just fucking popped into my head. Why are they doing that? That's the question that I want answered during this podcast. Ah! She's swinging by her stomach meat. I need to know why people do this. No, it can't be. These people were all hurt by someone. Right? Who hurt them? Like how like how no. you make somebody into a person who likes doing this? No. Um and how to avoid doing that. You know. <gasps> it's literally ob- it, it's obscene. Why are people doing this though? Wait, so, like can we take this off? <laughs> that girl just got hung by her throat. Yeah, and she loves it. And I need to know why. What is wrong with them? I mean, I don't know where we go from here, Alex. <laughs> I don't know. You, Alex, can there, I tell you, Alex pitched this huge segment we had. There's just one more that you just have to see. Okay, Bobby. Be, just be careful here. What okay. do you mean, just be careful? <gasps> no! No! Okay, I didn't know people hang themselves like me from the face. <laughs> Jeez. Ah, no. Jeez. No. <laughs> no. Get it off. Earlier in this video, this they show this guy preparing for this. If you, you want to see that. Okay, yeah. I'll see the preparation. How I do guess. you prepare? I mean, I mean oh, you got to get your rings put in. Literally getting the hooks put into your face. No, I don't know oh, if I could watch shit. this part. I don't know why, but I could, I I don't could know watch. Why. I thought that this was going to be easier. I could watch the hanging like meat part. This is making me hungry for fish. <laughs> that one, I'm not going uh, to lie. I could use the fucking tilapia in the moment. All right. I mean. So, yeah, now I need answers because I thought about it on mushrooms and I can't get it I out of my head. I don't know what kind of answers you came looking for because there's, I mean, what do you want? I don't know. Do you know anybody who hangs <laughs> themselves like me? No, I don't. You don't? No. Not one person? I refuse. I, do you? No. Frank, do you know anybody who hangs themselves like me? No, I do not. 
Bobby? Do you, Bobby? Bobby does. He's messing with I don't know anybody, but I've seen bands that do this. Like this this Life. band in particular, Nassau Chainsaw, yeah. They they have people that are suspended like by me like meat. Buy and, meat uh, like meat. That sounds like, like a sponsorship. <laughs> Buy meat like, like meat. meat. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for the people. <laughs> and actually, during the show, like in the mosh pits, they'll be swinging around in the mosh pit, and then people will grab them and swing from them. Ah! No. I yeah. hate this episode. I'm sorry if you're listening and you hate it as well. It's fucking gross. I didn't know that your skin was latched on that Me tight. either. I always thought it'd give in oh, way back. Oh, no, no. It, they tear a lot. It tears oh, a lot. No. It happens more than you would think. I, actually, there's enough of talking about this. It's so much. It's too much. I'm dizzy. I'm actually like dizzy again. This is the second week in a row I've been dizzy on this podcast. Well, I'll go home without answers and just keep having this okay, fucking Bobby, Google the mental psychology of someone who hangs himself like me. Please. Thank you, Bobby. Where do I start with that Google search? <laughs> exactly what I said. <laughs> the psychology of someone who hangs themselves like meat. Guys, if you hang yourselves like meat, hit us Tweet up on us. Twitter. <laughs> yeah. And let us know what it's like to hang like meat. It's awful. Did I ever tell you about the guy we met at the Gas Digital Christmas party last year? No, what'd he do? Kyle? No, what'd he do? He was like, he was like from like, Illinois, like somewhere Midwest, and he came to New York. It was his first time in New York. He came there to see a band all by himself on a bus and ended up at the bar that we were at for our Christmas party. Okay. And we went over and made friends with him, and he like was the weirdest guy I've ever met in my life, and he ended up talking to Nate and Nate's wife okay. for a few hours um, and divulging all this information about his penis surgery that he was getting. What? Bigger or smaller? Um, neither. <laughs> Wider? <laughs> he was having... Thinner. <laughs> so his... Ob- what co- else could you possibly be doing to your dick? Okay, as I understand... Bigger cum hole. He was getting a rib cage, like a prosthetic rib cage, something that looked like ribs inserted into the middle of his penis, okay. right? And then he wanted to get a tattoo in the middle of the rib cage that looks like the monster from Alien coming out of coming out of the ribs of his penis. Wait, hold on. So on the inside of his penis he wanted the tattoo? No, no, no. The tattoo's on the outside, but the ribs, there's like literally like silicone ribs inside the inside penis. Inside hole. the penis. So it stayed hard. I don't know if it stays hard. It would I have feel to. like it'd be hard to get hard with like a rib cage in your penis. It just doesn't, none of this makes sense. It doesn't make sense. What? Yeah. Bobby? I mean, th- I have some images of uh, people that have people rib cages that, in it's their It's not dicks? rib cages. They put like beads under the skin of their dick. You bring this up, Frank. Okay. Hold <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> I-, I could see how they can make this look like ribs. Um. But. <laughs> I, so okay. this is what people are doing. I just wanted to point this out to you. This is what you. This is what happens when you let a dude have a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, you would never see girls just shoving. I mean, I guess you would. I girls want shove my a bunch dick of shit in their pussies. Monster. <laughs> Wait. He literally turned his dick into a Whoa. monster. That would not feel good. I guess like this would be kind of would oh, go for the ribs. Oh, I see. I see, and so it would feel good to fuck it because it's like ribs on each side. I don't know about that. That looks like it'd feel good to fuck in a weird way. It looks like a corkscrew. Like well, this? I'll fuck a pig this? then. <laughs> this would that look good looks to fuck. awful. That looks like it would give me AIDS. Oh. It looks like it, it looks like has stuck. a like a venereal disease. Like if those are someone warts. pulled out their dick and it looked like that. I'd yeah. F- run. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I he's would... hiding warts. Like no, it's body modification. It's crazy, <laughs> right? Like some of them yeah. are real. Some yeah. of them are warts, that and is... he like got beads put in. For to sure, hide them. the bottom one on the right next to the ball hair is a wart. That this one. one nope, to the right this of one? yes. <laughs> yeah. That's a wart. How do you get it way down there? I don't believe it. I also hate the angle of his foot sticking I out hate from his the feet. base of I his see, penis. I hate seeing the tile in his kitchen. It's bothering me so much. It's, it's totally his a bathroom. Oh, a bathroom. Yeah. Okay. Fine. You're not taking that picture of that dick in a, <laughs> in a kitchen. What does he do with them? Does he shoot them out? What does he get from that? <laughs> <Does he> sh- <laughs> what? I don't think they could get into the fucking... No, the it's main, just under the skin. The main, uh, but what's the point? For 
her pleasure? For her pleasure? I guess. No. I don't know. I refuse or to believe that. Or just because he's a fucking freak? I think it's the same point as hanging yourself <laughs> like me. That's where I'm going with, with Maybe this. it's hey, a me. good grip for when he what jerks off. What is this off. called? Body, body modification. modification? That is what I'm yes. looking at? That's what you Googled? Yeah. But penis, penis body modifications. People do it to, to all yeah, parts of their people body. People like snip their tongues down the middle yeah, so that they that. have like a snake tongue. They split their dicks. Like this guy's got a split dick. No, you can't really do that. I mean, that's what that's it a is. split. Dick. Wait, do they always fucking if, when you get your dick split? Do they always make kiss. a heart shape together? <laughs> they come kiss at the top? That looks like a couple that just <laughs> had a long distance relationship and met up. Wait, can you look up more split dicks? This is the most yeah. interesting thing I've ever seen. I'm so glad that the body modification thing landed something with you because I just find <laughs> it so crazy. I mean, the hanging thing was just too disgusting. Um, uh, we started beads off, and dick. I can handle. We started off really strong. I'm sorry. <laughs> beads can, and dick. I'm fine with. 